Hello everyone. The results are back on my Kennedy half dollar. Find out what PCGS did to my coin. And we're also going to talk about crossing coins over to PCGS from NGC and Annex. Stay tuned. Well, my name is Daniel and you are watching Coin Help You. Thanks for watching my latest video. And today we're going to talk about crossing over coins from Annex, NGC to PCGS. I've done both and I've been successful at both. And most recently I received a 1966 SMS Kennedy half dollar graded proof decam 68 from Annex. I sent that coin to PCGS to cross over and I'm going to share that result with you. I just got it open. I just opened it up to show you. And I'm going to reveal that here in a little bit. But first off, I want to talk about crossing coins over. Earlier in the year, I had a 1935 Buffalo Nickel, a very rare double die reverse. And it sold at Heritage for $4,200. NGC graded at Mint State 62. I sent it to PCGS. It crossed over Mint State 62. And then we had um, them put a CAC sticker. We sent it to CAC, what they call a CAC. And they put the little green beanie sticker on it. And we sent it to auction. And that was fairly successful. You always hope for an upgrade if you can, or you hope for it to stay the grade, and it stayed the grade, and that's a, a pretty good deal for us. And then I had another coin that I was hoping would be PL. It was a $10 Liberty Gold. Um, it was in the same holder, PCGS, so I basically wanted the reholder and regrade. And they did reholder it, uh, but they didn't put the PL on it for us. So, you know, there's different things that you can do in this market, uh, trying to play around with it a little bit. And yes, you can play around with it a little bit, and sometimes you can be successful. Most of the time, you're probably not going to be successful unless you really know what you're doing. You know, I don't consider myself on the top tier of knowing what I'm doing, but, you know, I'm in the, you know, top 25%, I would say. As far as what it costs, when you cross a coin over, and I'm going to read off exactly what it costs me to cross my Kennedy half dollar over, $35 was the initial fee. Now, once they graded the coin, they charged me 1% of the actual value in their PCGS price guide. And then the shipping fees for one coin, because it had to be on its tier of its own, only had one coin to cross over, and then I had a handling fee. So it literally cost me a total of $91 to have this coin crossed over and graded and reholdered. And Really, the 1% wasn't too much, but you've got a lot of fees here. So anyways, you know, I, I look at a, this coin and I'm proud of it. I, I did cherry pick it from an uh, SMS set. And the thing of it is, is when I looked at the coin, it had a haze on it. It didn't look very good to me. You know, but I'm always looking for variety. So I got to look at the coin a little bit closer through my loop. Uh, like I said, looking for a double die. And I saw something a little bit different about the coin. I saw that the coin looked a little bit nicer than what it might be, but it still had that haze on it. It still had that, uh, you know, what I say, I like the proof film on the coin. Even though it's not a proof, it's, it still has that mirror finish, and, and it seems like some coins get that on them. And I thought, well, I'm going to restore it. I'm going to get that off of that film off of it. And I did that. I, I actually dipped the coin. I did the easiest method that I use. And it crawled, and, you know, basically graded straight on in both companies, Annex and PCGS. And the coin is still nice. It's bright white. It doesn't have that haze on it. And I can show you the grade here. I want to reveal it. <laughs> if we get it in here. And this is what they did. They downgraded it one grade from 68 to 67. Now, when you're crossing over, you can actually select the minimum grade that you would accept. And if I would have put 68, they would have sent it back to me in the annex holder as a 68. But I wanted it to be at least a 67, and I wanted it to be in a PCGS holder because I feel like that even in the annex holder, and even though it had 68 on it, I feel like it was still went for 67 money. And I hate that because I think annex is a good grading company. Um, they're decent enough, um, and I send coins to them. But anyways... That's what they did. Um, I actually have a pretty nice coin. So there's basically $1,750 in a PCGS price guide. Yeah, and it's, it's just really nice. And like I said, you know, I can, I'll show you the, the form. 
and what piece just what they do and that's the cost and how it breaks down I mean you know you're looking at like I said 35 and 18 for the one percent you know and the grading fees and I mean you can really tie up a lot of money crossing coins over you type a lot of money grading coins in general uh, but I wanted to share that with everyone I wanted to show you and talk about crossovers and like I said I've, I've done it with multiple coins and with some success, most success, uh, one coin didn't come back. And, you know, I have actually crossed over other coins in the past. Another thing as far as value is concerned, um, I wanted to share that a little bit because, you know, PCGS says it's worth $1,750. And, you know, trending of the coins kind of come down in value. But you do have an anomaly. And what I do is I go to most recent sales and I use Deep Cameo 66 SMS. I chose uh, 67 down in here for the grade. And, you know, there's one most recently. It doesn't look as good as my coin, I don't think. But then again, it was an older holder. And I think it went for 3840 So basically, this was August 18th of 2019. So this is really recent that this sold for 3840 and I'm not sure the reason behind this, why this coin would have sold for that much. Um, you've got another one that sold for 1320 and that was February of 2019. So are they going to come up in value? Or are they becoming more rare? I mean, because you've got some other sales back here that were less. And this one here, I mean, if you look at it, this is sold for $1,080 uh, in 2018, okay, November the 11th. And then it's the same coin as this one here that sold for $3,840. So when you come to values, it's going to be very difficult. And it's, that's kind of a surprising result. And then you've got, uh, you know, different values to look for. But, you know, as far as my coin is concerned, it's worth $1,750. And basically what I'll do is, is I'll take uh, offers or I'll put it up on great collections or something like that. Um, you know, like I said, it's a nice coin. I did pretty well on it, so I'm pretty happy. But, you know, it's not what you got in it. You know, I mean, it's actually... It takes a lot of effort. It takes a lot of searching through SMS sets to find a DCAM. So you've got to consider that kind of thing too. Probably never find another one. Or at least if I do, it'll be a while. So thanks for watching my latest video. And I, hopefully it'll help you if you thought about crossing over a coin. Um, you want to make sure that you put your minimum grade on there. You want to make sure that you do know what you're doing. And it's, and it's actually acceptable by PCGS. They want to cross over ICG, NGC, and Annex. That's the only other three companies that they consider on a crossover. So with that, have a great day.